Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette, and I'm trying to stay out of the uh, <clears throat> the sun a little bit. It keeps making spots on my face. But now that I've mentioned it, you'll notice it the entire time. The Lord is good today. He's faithful, and His Word is rich. It's rich in promise for you. It's rich in instruction for you. He wants to change you today. We're in Psalm chapter 79. We made it down to about verse 5 or so, verse 6. Let me pick up um, in verse 8, okay? Oh, do not remember former iniquities against us. Let your tender mercies come speedily to meet us, for we have been brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and deliver us, and provide atonement for our sins, for your name's sake. Church, hear me. He has done exactly that. He has provided atonement for us. When we live in failure, when we live in inadequacies, it does not bring glory to his name. Our God is our Father, and he gets a good name when his people display the blessings, talk about the blessings, live in the blessings. He gets a good name when his people honor him and love him and do what's right. So then conversely, he gets a bad name when we don't. He gets a bad name when we're always failing, when we're always faltering. Consider the name that you give God. <clears throat> Verse 10. Why should the nations say, where is their God? Let there be known among the nations in our sight the avenging of the blood of your servants, which has been shed. See, <clears throat> even people saying, Lord, where? Uh, people saying, they, they serve who? They don't even have a God. He's not even protecting them anymore. Horrible place to be. Verse 11, let the groaning of the prisoner come before you according to the greatness of your power. Preserve those who are appointed to die. And return to our neighbors sevenfold unto their bosom, their reproach with which they have reproached you, O Lord. So we, your people, and sheep of your pasture, will give you thanks forever. We will show forth your praise to all generations. I look at this, and again, I see that attitude a little bit. Sometimes we would have that says, Lord, pay them back. Lord, they're attacking me, and they're saying bad things about them. Pay them back. Lord, they are, they're, 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 they're hurting your name, so pay them back. And <clears throat> I think sometimes we forget that we hurt God's name. Do we want him to pay us back? I mean, we're pretty quick sometimes to call on judgment. We want things to be done right. We want equity, things to be done righteously. Do we really? If, jo if God judged everything completely properly <clears throat> in an instant, well, he always judges properly, but not, not always instantly. Would we want him to start with us? Would that be okay with you? I encourage you today to spend time pondering your life and your lifestyle, your words, your comments, your attitudes, the way you treat others. Are you representing him and his name in a good way? Or are you causing things to go awry? Are you causing people to question your God? 
and his grace and his mercy. Listen, this is a great day. Serve him in it. Let his name be exalted today. And let people who see you and know you praise your God because of the way you are and how you follow him. Thanks for joining me today. God bless you. And uh, we will pick this up tomorrow. Bye-bye.